Well, that settles it. I am never climbing a tower. Fall is a new movie that's in that genre of survival thrillers like Frozen, Open Water, The Shallows, where if you like those, you'll probably dig this one too. It's a movie about two climbers who get stuck on top of a tower once the ladder breaks. There you go. I do like these kind of movies, so I was all about seeing this. The movie works in the exact areas where it absolutely needs to work. Right from them starting to climb this thing, it is, no pun intended, gripping. From the sound design, like the ladder beating against the tower, to the wind, plus the editing and cinematography, you believe it that these two are stuck up there. These sequences easily make it one of the most intense films I've seen so far this year. Jesus Christ, my palms were sweating before they even reached the top of it. The suspense carries it, and so do the performances. It's basically a two-person show. They work great together, and the acting helps make it as suspenseful as it is. If you have an extreme fear of heights, God help you if you go see this. I was pulling for these two to get off of this damn thing. Now, like I said, the movie works in the places that you want it to work, and that makes it very easy to recommend. But there are other areas where it does have problems. From the opening scene, like a poor man's version of the opening of Cliffhanger or even Ace Ventura When Nature Calls, one of the girls suffers a tragedy, and these parts are very, very prototypical of this kind of plot point, with generic dialogue and scenes like her binge drinking and rummaging through empty bottles. Even throughout the movie, it has go-to cliches, like fake-out dream sequences, and it gets a little too dependent on them having the worst luck possible. Before they even get to the tower, they're almost killed from live streaming in a car, and then a semi almost hits them. Between things that happen with their drone and a couple of idiots in a camper, this is beyond God telling them to stop climbing shit. This is God wants them dead. I guess there was a lot of re-editing by using deep fakes to get it to a PG-13, and it was just because fuck was used 30 times. I didn't know that fact until after I saw it, but there was one part where I kinda wondered, and it was a scene where they say freaking a little too much. We could be in the second and third act, and there will still be silliness. Why does there need to be relationship and love triangle drama? Also, there's a twist that's a bit too stock, and I've seen it in more than one of these kinds of movies. But when ridiculous things happen, something wildly intense will come in and pull you back into it. And Virginia Gardner and Grace Caroline Curry do a great job in some very emotional scenes. Because of the parts where the writing isn't great, I'll give it a B, but it's a really good B. Because in terms of cinematography and the unapologetic adrenaline rush intensity of it, there is a material on the technical side. I can't deny my stomach was turning several times here, and only partly because of the mozzarella sticks I ordered. That alone does make it worth seeing in theaters. There were plenty of shots where I was glad I saw it on one of the bigger screens in the theater. I kinda wish it was in 3D. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to check out our reviews for Bodies, 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 and the Forrest Gump remake, and we'll see you next time.